Hey friends, this is Baron Delta Window Weather on this 6th day of August 2017. Current temperature is uh, roughly about 72 degrees or so. So here we are on the mountain, sitting just inside my memorial garden. I think the best way to start the story is rewind an entire day. So let's go back to yesterday. Yesterday was August 5th which was Lisa's birthday. And for Lisa's birthday, we decided that we were gonna go on an adventure into town. We headed into Withville. Um, why an adventure? Because it is very, very rare that we get to spend the day together, not on the farm. So with my parents being down here, we thought, let's just go on a fun adventure. We got most of the chores handled this morning, a couple little things that my brother could do and I thought, yes, finally, a day away. It's been almost a year since both of us could spend pretty much an entire day away from the farm. But that's just kind of what's expected. We get to spend most of the days together here on the farm, so we get to spend a lot of time together. It's just sometimes it's, it's, it's fun to get away. So we headed into Withville. Um, Withville, Hillsville, Galax. Um, my grandfather grew up in Galax, so we got to do some adventuring around there, did some yard sailing, did some flea marking, hit up some Goodwills, found some cool stuff. So, some, it's just a fun, a fun adventure. Good, good time getting away. So just before we were ready to go out to eat, because, you know, we never go out to eat either, so that uh, was a fun, it's kind of something we were looking forward to. Just before we went out to eat, uh, my brother calls and lets us know that one of my childhood dogs had ended up passing away. Um, her name was Cricket. She was a Weimariner. She's about 15, 17 years old, so she had a good life. Um, the last couple days have been tough. Um, we've had to carry her outside, and she was still going to the bathroom, but her walking, and just she was just going downhill, so it was just a matter of time. So hence the reason we were up here in the midnight, or in the memorial garden, where I plant my animals. Yeah, that is, if, if you want to know the more full parts of the story, um, I'll have that included into my podcast, um, Morning Mountain Chat, which you can find on Google Play Store or iTunes. But yeah, there's a, there's a, I'm going to do a special about companion animals, farm animals, working animals, the relationship we have with them, why it's important, and how it helps us be better humans and also maybe connects us with our understanding of our current life cycle but there was still more to yesterday that was as crazy as that would be that we're gone for a day out of once a year that something crazy happens well i get a call a half an hour later that there is a wild dog running around in the permaculture lab attacking the chickens and the ducks so i talked my brother through what to do um, he did very good for not knowing a whole lot about living in the country and still only being down here for a short period of time. He did a really awesome job. So we got that out, gives me a call, gives me a little recap of what's going on with the, the ducks and the chickens. And so what ended up happening is, is two ducks got hurt and a chicken. Um, one of our hens, she got attacked, but she might just have a broken wing, but nothing really major, just a little bit of... Um, a little bit extra attention and she should be fine. One of the drakes got attacked, pretty much the tip of his wing, but he, he should be just fine as well. But our chicken, Mel Brooks, he took the run of it. He must have attacked the dog and he must have really went at it because he's missing his tail feathers. He's got a big cut on his forehead, on his head right behind, well, right in front and behind his comb. He's got a couple of puncture wounds. He definitely has a broken wing. So we cleaned that up pretty well. So I'm hoping that he'll be okay. But he was doing his job. That's what a rooster is supposed to do. He's supposed to protect the rest of the flock. He views all the ducks and the guineas and the chickens as his. So he was out there doing his job, making sure that the rest of the animals were safe. So if he does die and pass on then he did his job like a rooster is supposed to and he protected everybody else because it could have probably been bad but he 
sacrificed himself. That's part of the reason I like roosters, and, and that's something I'm also going to include in the podcast when we talk about the animals and our connection with them, is the importance of a rooster and, and how awesome they really are on a farm. So, after our adventure in town, and got the phone calls, we finished eating, and came home. I got... Oh, I forgot the second, the third part of the story. The third part of the story is 45 minutes after that, I get a call that the pig's out, and she's running around, that she had busted through the electric fence. So, the long short of the story is, is she heard the chickens and the ducks getting attacked by the dog, so she busted through the electric fence to come to the rescue because she was not going to let anybody attack her chickens and ducks, because she kind of takes ownership of that, because she really enjoys them. They kind of live right there with her. She, Some of them come in and visit her, so she was probably doing her part. Because she was fairly, from what I was told by my brother, she was fairly easy to get back into her pen. Um, I saw where she busted out, and it was not a it was not a little spot. She, she really had to bust through some fences and some stuff to get out the spot she chose to get out, so it must have been a big deal. So that's my guess. So there's the three crazy. The pig gets out, a, a dog comes in and attacks the chickens, and we lose... Um, a childhood pet. So one day a year we leave and all the chaos happens. That's just how it is. That's kind of what I've came to expect now from living in the country for 12 years. You just never know what your day is going to bring. Try to plan for it all. Sometimes it's really hard. So that's the current story. So what am I doing up here? Well, this is in the memorial garden that I have my animals planted. Um, we have Felix, which was Lisa's cat, which was one of her absolute favorite cats. He was an awesome orange guy. If you ever stayed here at Mavis Manor, you can you probably remember him. He was super lovable, just giant big guy, kind of like a big teddy bear. Um, he's planted up here. Um, our first rabbit, Chewy. Um, if you he's got he's got his Chewy still has his own Facebook page, so people still pass stories about Chewy, and he's what got us inspired to raise some other rabbits and have some other rabbits. So he's he's up here. Fogelman, this uh, cat I only had for about a week. Um, craziest story, but very personal. Um, one day we'll talk about the story, or if you're ever out and you want to really get a good story. Um, the story helped change the way I view things. And then what we also have is we also have some crazy rabbit and duck combination that I found up here. Long story short, but really fun part of the story. And then we also have, um, and we also have Zero, which was the first kitten that was lost here on the property. He, just a little baby kitten. So that's why we're up here on this beautiful day. It was just a great day, great beautiful day to be up here. So um, you'll have to, uh, if you really want to get more of the story, make sure you check out the Morning Mountain chat. Um, I should have it out like August 8th, August 9th. You can find it on Google Plus. You can find it on um, or Google Play, or you can find it on iTunes. But you should definitely check it out um, if you want to know more about the story. <sighs> yeah, so crazy sad day. But one of the things is I'm glad is one of the things that just means a lot to me is digging, digging the grave myself. Just like the reconnection with the land and the reconnection with giving the energy back to the land and, and giving that animal the last the last burial, its last resting spot and there's just it means something to me. It's kind of just just important. So I, I, I really think it's important for me to be digging graves and it's just it, it also means something to me in a spiritual way that I don't think I can explain to anyone. I don't think you can really understand it. Um and maybe you can, but to me it's just something super special that I also just have this earning to just yearning to do anyways it's a barren without the window weather on this sixth day of august 2017 just life on the farm i guess glad i got to share it with you guys um if you want to see some pictures and such make sure you check out our facebook page all the links will be below um like normal so i don't need to keep mentioning it over and over again but yeah thanks for listening till next time have yourself a wonderful rest of the day. Adios.